Hey folks, a new figure to that this week. It's a commission piece. Somebody wanted me to paint their 3D model, and this one was made by 3D Moon. Moon, M-O-O-N-N. -N. And it's a really interesting sculpt. The Or design, I guess you wouldn't call it a sculpt in the regular sense. These 3D pieces are all done on a computer now, and it's you know amazing what they can do. I mean, I'm really stunned at it. This guy, a good friend of mine, well, known him a long time, he's like, hey man, would you paint me up one if I sent you one? I was like, of course. And he sent one that's some more like an 8 inch tall. I usually try to stick to 6 scale, but I've been doing a lot of smaller things like the repainting my McFarlane Batmans and things like that, which are even smaller than this. And I happen to like Cammy from street fighter so he had this cami figure he, the hair's got some little bit of nits in it and stuff he's a little bit new printing he's printing his own stuff and i don't hold that against him as he's got to learn and i'm sure some of his later pieces will probably be improved i don't have the technical knowledge to give him advice in that if anybody else does that would be um, an appreciated thing in this video but for now he did an amazing job considering like the little patterns on the pants there, the little grid pattern, that came out well. But then some of the details on the belts, these little loose pieces, I had to, I cleaned all I could without, you know, breaking them. They're, they're so thin. And her hair, I actually had to take the little loose piece there in the front of her forehead. I actually had to remove that and um, put a pin in it and put it back in after I'd painted her face. So, I th and I, in fact, he said he had a lot of trouble printing the head. He had to turn it upside down, do some stuff. It was a real tricky head for him to to print. And as such, because the, the hair details and whatnot are a little bit rough, it was a little bit harder to paint. I mean, I got the colors that I'm happy with. Uh, but this was a new one for me. I mean, I know I've known Cami a long time. And this is her newer outfit with a jacket and this this new outfit of clothes. Again, look at that pattern. Isn't that isn't that really cool? The the, the details, and of course, classic Cami boots there with the red. I'm not sure what those things are on why that they're so heavy. The the wrist and the ankles are those weights. I mean, I don't know why she or they just used to pummel people when she fights. I'm not quite sure she why she has them. A uh, little uh, Union Jack there flag on her uh, back of her jacket, which was not easy to do by hand. Um, yes, I will admit she is amply endowed. It's not the worst thing I've ever had to paint, considering that I enjoy that aspect of uh, female physiology. And someone else must because they sculpted this. But Cammy is sort of, you know, Cammy and um, Chun Li and all them are, you know, they have the big fighting legs and everything, very much in the physical characteristics of of the game. So I'm 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 rather impressed with the figure, and I was very honored to be able to paint it for my friend. I didn't give her the more, I guess you could call it, um, anime type eyes. I gave her a little bit more realistic eyes. That's more what I do trying to make like a real person but I like the figure I like the colors I love love the colors this is not the cami I want I probably want a little bit more traditional older school but it's very cool and I'm, I'm, I'm honored to have been able to paint it for him and it's just it's nice practice and and work that keeps me busy and keeps me going that I can do something new I, I really like that so I hope you enjoy this a little time here of um you know some looking at a a beautiful girl painted you know in a very interesting way from a video game i look forward to the other figures that i know my friend is gonna send me i know that they will not be boring i know there'll be something interesting to learn and do and in the meantime i hope you enjoy the video um tune in again to see more interesting things like this and i'll get back to my batman collection that i'm working on and some other things so uh, stay tuned i've got some big things planned for the coming of uh, videos i'm going to be reach 100 videos in a few 
And I've got a really cool one planned for that. But in the meantime, uh, subscribe, like, comment. Don't be afraid to comment. I, you can't hurt my feelings. I mean, I guess you could, but but you know, I mean, constructive criticism is welcome. Um, comments of any kind are always welcome. Um, please don't be afraid to say something if you see something you, you find interesting. And again, um, any interesting facts about Cami or um, anything about the characters that I may paint or something, feel, feel free to just you know leave a comment about that because I'm I'm always learning, and it'll help me if I ever do any more. So that's the video for today. Hope you enjoy, and we'll see you next time.